So now let's work around with adding closed captions inside of Adobe Captivate. So closed captions are simply subtitles to be displayed along with your narration. So closed captions cannot be assigned to the audios which are individually assigned to different objects. It can only be assigned to the uh, background narration which you have on your slides. So first of all to have uh, and with closed captions you have to record a background narration. So let's do exactly that right here. So I'm just going to go around and record a background narration as we did in the previous lesson right over here. So I'm going to set up some quality and calibrate. Calibrating the volume, calibrating, this is mic. Okay, so it's calibrated. So now let's record it out. Hello there and welcome to this lesson on Adobe Captivate. There you go. So I got my narration right over here. So let me just edit this out just like that. So this is something we did in previous lesson in detail. So you can view that lesson if you want to repeat these steps over here. I'm just going to adjust the volume and there you go. So I got my narration right over here. Hello there and welcome to this lesson on Adobe Captivate. Okay, there you go. So now over here on the top side, you can see that there's closed captioning right over here. So let me just click on that. And over here, simply what we can do is we can start adding in captions. So we can just preview this out and see like where, uh, what captions should be added in. So there's slide notes and closed captioning right over here, as you can see. So to add in closed captioning, you simply add the closed caption right over here. Just press the plus button and then start typing in. You can also make it bold, italics, or underline it as per your wish. Hello there. So first, uh, first of all, it says hello there. Just like this. So there you go. So that's the hello there right over here. And then it'll continue with the other caption right over there. Hello there. And welcome to this lesson. So uh, right from over here, it says welcome. And welcome to this lesson. Welcome. And welcome to this lesson. So right from over here, another closed caption. So just type in what you hear, just like this. And welcome to this lesson. And welcome to this lesson, Adobe Captivate. Okay, play again. And welcome to this lesson on Adobe Captivate. On Adobe Captivate. So that's my third closed caption. All right, so that's way too off as you can see. So let's just preview this. Come to this lesson on Adobe. So you, you have to uh, actually see the audio wave right here. So this is the third closed caption area right over here on Adobe Captivate. So there you go. So now if I were to go over here from the beginning itself right over here on Adobe Captivate. So let's go to the beginning and then play around. Just like that. Let's go around to the beginning. And let's see how it actually works out. Hello there, and welcome to this lesson on Adobe Captivate. So you can see that out right over here. So you can bold these out right over here. So you can see you can bold it out and rinse out the colors and so forth, just like that as per your wish. So I'm just going to go around and then uh, change out the color of Adobe Captivate to something like green and bold it out, maybe just like that. So once the formattings are done, we need to enable the closed captions so that it is shown in the project itself. In order to do that, you have to click on the CC settings button right over here and then click on show captions. You have the preview of the caption right over here as well as you can see. So you can align where you want to see them like you can also do top center as you can see. So I'm just going to keep it on the default place that is bottom center. I can also set the opacity. So right over here, I can uh, do like an opacity right over here. So let me just do a 50%. Usually 50% is the way to go for. You can also choose a background color over here as you can see for the closed caption. Let me just keep white uh, for that one right here. I'm going to center align this right over here just like this. And I can left align it, I can right align it. Let me just center align it right over here. I do want to increase the size a bit right over here just like that. And maybe you want to change the color, then you can choose the color as well. So if you were to go over here onto the font, you'll be also uh, be able to select different fonts. So let me just select Verdana so it's much more easier to read just like that. So once you're OK, make sure that this is checked on. Press apply and close right over here. And I'm going to close this up. 
So now if I were to preview the project, if I were to go to preview, go to project right over here, you'll be able to see the closed captions as well. So let me just play it out. Hello there and welcome to this lesson on Adobe Captivate. So you can see over here that not all of the fonts are seen. That is because it is too large. So let me just arrange that out as well. So I'm going to go around here onto the record option. Let me just go to close captions right over here. And here uh, you can see that this is too big. Okay, so not all of the fonts are actually showing up. So I'm just going to say something like around uh, not 15, but 18 maybe uh, the one I want to go for just like that. Okay, so apply and close it out, close it out and let's see pre uh, and preview this out now. Go to project right over there and play it out. Hello there and welcome to this lesson on Adobe Captivate and that seems great. So you can see everything right over there and even if the end user does not have any speaker or have some hearing problem, they'll be able to see the closed captioning and understand your content. So that is how you work with closed captioning inside of Adobe Captivate. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.